The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Zechariah. Then raising my eyes, I had a vision. There was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked him, where are you going? And he said, to measure Jerusalem, to calculate her width and length. And then while the angel who was talking to me walked away, another angel came out to meet him. He said to him, run and tell that young man this, Jerusalem is to remain unwalled because of the great number of men and cattle inside. For I, Yahweh declares, shall be a wall of fire all around her, and I shall be the glory within her. Sing, rejoice, daughter of Zion, for now I am coming to live among you, Yahweh declares. And on that day, many nations will be converted to Yahweh. Yes, they will become his people, and they will live among you. Then you will know that Yahweh Sabaoth has sent me to you. And our response is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Listen, nations, to the word of Yahweh. On the furthest coast and islands proclaim it. Say, he who scattered Israel is gathering him, will guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For Yahweh has ransomed Jacob, rescued him from a hand stronger than his own. They will come shouting for joy on the heights of Zion thronging toward Yahweh's lavish gifts for wheat, new wine and oil, sheep and cattle. They will be like a well-watered garden. They will sorrow no more. The young girl will then take pleasure in the dance and the young man and old alike. I shall change their mourning into gladness, comfort them, give them joy after their troubles. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Everyone was awestruck by the greatness of God. But while everyone was full of admiration for all Jesus did, he said to his disciples, for your part, you must have these words constantly in mind. The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the power of men. But they did not understand what he said. It was hidden from them so that they should not see the meaning of it. And they were afraid to ask him about it. The Gospel of the Lord.